guys so today I am coming at you with an elf jumbo lip gloss stick collection swatch and review that was a lot to say they come in cute little packages like this and you can get them either um, at Target wherever has elf and you can also order them online um, I've noticed that at Target they never have the full collection because they only have like three of each and people tend to buy just the ones like the colors they want so today I decided well a while ago about two weeks ago before I left for my trip to um, New York I decided that I would buy the whole collection do a review on them and do swatches because I originally had this color which is Sangria Starters and it has been my absolute favorite lip chubby stick I'm not really into lipsticks so like a chubby lip gloss is more my route and it was just pretty it was perfect for like winter and fall because it's like a darker red color so I was like I really love the formula of it so I'm just gonna go ahead and buy all of them and in the whole collection of them there's one two three four five six seven seven of them I'm gonna go in order from lightest to darkest because I did notice last night I wore the red one and it stained my lips so the first one well I guess I can tell you a little bit about them so the claims on the packaging says that it's a long wearing tinted lip color that glides on like a lipstick but looks looks like a gloss um, it's got nourishing jojoba soybean vitamin E ingredients that conditions and moisturizes the lips and it has a twist up component for a smooth glide formula and easy to use for on-the-go comfort so that's another good thing about um, about them is that there's no you don't have to ever like sharpen them um, it's just twist up so that is super nice and I can twist it all the way up that's how much product you get obviously it's not that much um, but let's compare this to the one that I've been using all the time and see how much product I have left I use this one quite a bit and all that I have done is like taken off the point basically so I do say that these last a pretty good amount of time I don't think you should go through them that quickly um, so this is the first color that they have their lightest color which is in in the nude and it just looks like this um, I did try this one on previously but I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my lips now so this is in the nude on the lips and literally it's basically I want to say it's almost like a clear color on me I don't really like it um, you can see like a little bit of the color coming through. I wanted to try a nude lipstick or lip gloss out and I thought that I would try this one out. It's a little patchy um, if you look at it up close, but other than that you can't even really tell that anything's on my lips. So if you want something to go over a lipstick that potentially would not change the color of it but give you um, moisture, then I would say this one would be a good one to put over like a nude lipstick. So the next color is Tiki Torches and it has a bit of shimmer to it. I haven't tried this one on yet, so let's see what it looks like on the lips. So this is what Tiki Torches looks like on the lips and it has a lot of gold shimmer in it. Um, I really like my stuff matte. I don't know I just feel like sh it I mean like let me zoom you guys in the shimmer it's like super freaking noticeable so as you saw the shimmer is really really noticeable and that's not something that I'm excited about I feel like shimmer is something so for like little children I um, don't really, I mean the color is nice until you get close to it and actually you're able to see the shimmer. Um, I'm looking at it on me in the viewfinder and it doesn't look too bad. It's almost like a reddish coral color. The next color in the collection is called Pink Umbrellas and it looks like this. It's another matte color. It has no shimmer to it which I'm excited about. I think only two of these have shimmer so that's good so this is pink umbrellas and it's just a really nice pink color and I think it's a little bit lighter than the other color that I just tried on that had the buttload of shimmer in it um, the gold shimmer but I do like this color I think it's very wearable and it's a nice pink the next jumbo lip gloss is summer nights and it looks like this it's a darker one I think it's funny because they don't actually put like the actual color on the tip of the tube like 
if you grabbed this you would think it'd be like a pinky nude but it's actually like a darkish brown again with gold shimmer so this is summer nights and basically to me it just kind of looks like my lip color but a little bit darker and with a ton of gold shimmer in it I think it's pretty I think it's kind of like very wearable um, it's not extremely extremely dark but let's see if you guys can see how much shimmer is in this one So you can really tell how shimmery this one is, and once again, I'm not really big into the shimmer. So the next one is called Coco Loco, and once again, it looks nothing like the tip of the container that it's in. This looks like another pinkish brown, and um, this one doesn't have any shimmer in it. It just looks like a brown. So this is what Coco Loco looks like on the lips, and it's just a pretty... I would say almost like a brownish burnt red. So it's very moisturizing just like the other ones and this one I had to layer a few times to get it to this color. If you want like a very non-pigmented color then just swipe it on once but about three times kind of like one two three and you get this color pigmentation and I say it's not too bad. These are definitely most of these are like fall and winter colors which if you look at them in the tube, like, some of them don't look like they would be fall or winter, but they're actually all pretty much paying off darker than what they look like, um, the tip of them versus what they look like in the tube and on your lips. So, this one is the one that I wore last night, and it is in Movie Star, and actually, it looks like, just like it does in the container, um, as the tip of it, like, they both look the same color that they actually are. So I actually really like this on the lips. I think it's a very nice wearable red. Um, I really, I'm not a huge like red lipstick person, but I do really like this one and I can see myself wearing this one a lot out and um, just whenever I want to wear red lipstick. You can put it very sheer or you can build up the coverage like the brown one before this one. And so far, I think these are really, really hydrating, which I really enjoy because my lips tend to be pretty dry. And, um, I don't know, I really like this color. So I feel like, I feel like it's a pretty red. It's very wearable. I feel like anyone could get away wearing this red. So the last color in this collection is Sangria Starters. And you guys have seen me wear this before on my lips because this was the first one that I owned from them so I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on I believe this is the darkest out of all of them it's kind of like a dark burnt red um, I know that I said another one looked like a burnt red but I think it looked more like a burnt reddish brown this one's more like a burnt burgundy so this one is sangria starters and this is the one that I absolutely love um, I feel like this one truthfully isn't as hydrating as the other ones which is a little bit weird um, I don't know. This one is one that I bought at Target. I didn't get it directly from the e.l.f. Um, like website. So it might have been sitting in Target for a little bit longer than these were when they were shipped out to me. Um, but I do find that sometimes I need to put like a lip gloss or a chapstick over it because it's a little bit more drying. But I still really like this color and I think that it's a really pretty fall and winter color. I'm kind of sad to say that mainly all of these to me, strike me as fall and winter colors, even though, like, so if you look at them in the tube, they're all pretty dark colors, um, this one doesn't look so dark, this one on the end looks like an orange, and this one is kind of like a pinkish color, but all the other ones are really dark. I was excited to see the colors online when I did see the bottom of the packaging, because the bottom of the packaging is very, it, it lies, um, these look like spring and summer and any kind of season colors, but really they're all way darker than what the bottom of the packaging shows, which I find a little bit sad because I was looking forward to wearing some of these in the summer, which I still probably will. They just aren't that bright neon pop of color like this one. You see this and it's like a bright orange and then you swatch it. And it's like a dark orange with extreme shimmer. So, I guess I can also swatch them on my hand for you guys so you can see what they look like. I'm going to go ahead and take this one off because I'm going to put them in order. So, starting from this side, this is in the nude. 
And then this one is Tiki Torches. The next one over, this pinkish one, is Summer Nights. The one in the very middle, this brown one, is Coco Loco. The pink right here is Pink Umbrellas. This red is Movie Star, and this burnt burgundy um, brownish one is the Sangria Starters. So, I mean, on my hand, they look pretty, like, different, but they look way different on the lips, and that's why I wanted to do lip swatches for you guys, because they look like they're a pretty good wide range of colors until you actually get them on your lips, and I guess it could also depend on what color your natural lip is. Um, that could play a huge role in this. But I guess my lip is actually pretty dark or darker than a normal lip. So like the nude color looks nothing like this on my lip. And all of these show up way darker on my actual lips. So I hope this was informative to you guys. And let me know if you want me to start doing this. Of course, I love affordable makeup. So everything would be like super affordable. And I ended up saving... Um, the receipt for all of this. So I do believe that um, these are $1.99 each and I saved my invoice but then I actually noticed that there's no prices. There's just the name of the colors and what it is. If you like this and you would like me to do another kind of um, swatch like buy a collection of course it would be affordable makeup because that's kind of what I'm into. I like high-end makeup but I did notice that everyone who watches me really appreciates when I do affordable makeup. So, I also picked up the collection of smudge pots that e.l.f. has. So, they look like this. I'll give you a little preview. They just say e.l.f. and they have a cute little white lid. And they're just like a cute smudge pot. So, I picked up these. I picked up the whole collection also. And there's 12 of them. So my next video that will be like a review and swatch video will be the smudge pots. And then I picked up um, three of the facial whips that they have. I didn't get all of them. I need to go online and see how many they have in total. Um, but I did pick up three of those so I can also do a review on those. And I also got asked to do a review on the double ended um wet and wild lipsticks that you can see that you find at the dollar tree one end has like an actual lipstick on it and the other end has a clear uh gloss that goes over it so i'm going to try to get to my dollar tree sometime later this week and try to pick up the rest of that collection or at least find as many as i can because i think i already have three or four of them in my actual makeup collection so that's another one that i would be um, doing in the near future so if you have anything online that you see or anything of the Dollar Tree or anything that's like affordable makeup that you would like me to buy into and do swatches and reviews for you guys let me know and I'll see what I can get my hands on and I will see you guys in my next video bye